Hi, this is Prophetess Lenine Hanaya, and I'd like to welcome you to the Insights from Dr. Intimacy YouTube webcast, where I will be giving you an enlightening look into the naked truth about sex, relationships, and intimacy from a holistic perspective, spirit, soul, and body. Well, this is segment three of my series on Incubus and Succubus, Sex Demons of the Night. And there is a dedicated page to this topic on my Insights from Dr. Intimacy WordPress blog, which can be found at drintimacy.wordpress.com. And there is also a very extensive 15-page write-up on this topic uh, in my book, my latest book, The Spirits of Sexual Perversion Reference Book, which can be found on my website, drintimacy.com should be coming to Kindle and Amazon soon, but right now it's only on my website. Uh, and I am studying out of this book um, t years of extensive research and experience, personal experience and testimonies and working with people has led me to cover this topic. And yesterday, we uh, on the last segment, which I just recorded a couple of minutes ago, <laughs> on the last segment, I ended up talking about do they really exist and we looked at a scripture in the Bible about that and then I started to talk about some of the ways that incubi manifest themselves in your life and so I left off talking about sexual urges and then moved on to dreams and let me just go back to that a little bit they also cause sex dreams now um, sometimes you can have a sex dream that is caused by just a hormonal uh, influx in your body. It's not always caused by spirit, but oftentimes sexual dreams are caused by the influence of sex demons. And those sex dreams are where you're actually engaged in intercourse in a dream or you have a, an orgasm in a dream, even though you're dreaming about something non-sexual, you have an orgasm in a dream or even a spontaneous orgasm during the day uh, and they also cause nightmares and we talked about that very realistic heart-stopping gut-wrenching nightmares where you can see and hear and taste and it seems like you can even smell what's going on in the dream and not all nightmares are caused by sex demons but you need to know how to tell the difference and um, Incubi attacks are very realistic and impressionable experiences that will make a weighty impact. Understand that. They will make a weighty impact to you emotionally and spiritually. So if you're trying to determine, maybe you have some of these manifestations and you're not really sure if you fall into this category because again some people know it's very clear to them that they're being attacked but some people like me I didn't know I didn't know until I did the research and so if you're not sure these are some words you want to remember tormenting I talked about that on the last segment weighty impact to you emotionally and spiritually these are experiences that deeply disturb okay an, an encounter with an incubi spirit will leave you deeply disturbed even if it was a pleasurable experience you're still going to feel pleasurable to your body you still feel deeply disturbed deeply in your spirit and your soul deeply disturbed not something that you get up brush off and forget about these experiences are very impressionable and very memorable so these are some signs that you can look for to help you determine whether or not this is going on in your life. Now the next question that I want to tackle is, what is their purpose? Why do these spirits come? And anybody that's been following my teachings for any length of time knows that one of the most revelatory things that, that I was able to share uh, in this ministry assignment is that spirits of sexual perversion come for a very specific reason that has a lot more to do um, with a greater assignment than, than them just influencing you into doing some type of sexual, physical act. Uh, I'd actually talk about 11 different types of demons of sexual perversion in my book, 
And each one of those spirits has a very specific assignment in your life. They are sent, they are skilled, they are specialist in their area to afflict you specifically in some area of your relationship with God, your productivity, your relationships with people, your self-perception, um, very specifically. And so what I want to talk about, any spirit that I talk about, I'm always seeking to understand what is their assignment? Why is this spirit here? What What is the objective of me being afflicted? What is the objective of the enemy of afflicting me with this spirit? What is his desired end result? What is their purpose? So I'm going to go back to the book of Genesis. We were in chapter 6. This is now verse 4 in that same chapter of Genesis in the New Living Translation. In those days and even afterward, giants lived on the earth. For whenever the sons of God had intercourse with human women, this is in the Bible, I did not alter this. This is what the scripture actually says in the New Living Translation. For whenever the sons of God had intercourse with human women, they gave birth to children who became the heroes mentioned in legends of old. Let me say that again. In those days and afterward, Giants lived on the earth, for whenever the sons of God had intercourse with human women, they gave birth to children who became the heroes mentioned in legends of old. So in other words, when these demon spirits had sex with the women, the women gave birth to abnormal children. And that speaks so loudly to the assignment of these spirits. These spirits come to impregnate you. That is their purpose. They want to impregnate you. Incubi spirits that we deal with today, sex demons, these are the same class of demon that we read about in Genesis chapter 6. And their objective at that time was to impregnate the women. And their objective is the same now. Uh, the, the, the devil doesn't have any new tricks. He wanted to impregnate them and he wants to impregnate you. Only now his agenda is to impregnate you spiritually, not so much physically so that you would give birth to a giant, but he wants to impregnate you uh, spiritually. And so what happens is once these, these spirits uh, get you sexually aroused and they subdue you either through the sexual pleasure that you're experience, experiencing or through violence, you let your, your guard down. You let your conscious guard down and you kind of let them have their way. And that is when they plant their seeds in your subconscious, uh, where it will go unnoticed for a season of time. And uh, remembering that analogy of these spirits being likened unto a rapist. Well, think about a young girl that is molested, like the letter that I read. Uh, in the last segment from Gizmo, she said she was molested from the ages of 12, 10 to 12. Well, think about a young girl that is molested. Once she gives in to her molester, once she gives in to that, that man that is victimizing her, he releases his seed into her. And once that seed goes into her, after that encounter is over with, she can't see the seed anymore. She can't see the molester. She can't see the seed. But that seed goes into her body, and it could be changing her in major ways. She may have contracted an STD, or she could be pregnant. Um, and so that's what happens when these incubi spirit impregnate you with their purpose for being in your life, it goes unnoticed for a while, just like a, a woman who becomes pregnant. She doesn't know that she's pregnant for quite some time. She may be two months down, down the road in her pregnancy before she even realizes it. Uh, these spirits, their impregnation is like carbon monoxide. You don't even realize that it's going on until whatever they've implanted in you becomes so big that it is disturbingly obvious. And so these spirits want to impregnate you and they want to do so suddenly 
so that the seed can grow inside of you. That is the objective. When a woman is pregnant, if you've ever been pregnant or you, you've been close to someone during a pregnancy that is high risk, you know the main agenda and objective of those doctors that are caring for that pregnant woman is to keep that seed inside of her belly for as long as possible. If a woman is, is threatening to go into pre preterm labor or premature labor, the obstetrician, the, the obstetrician wants to keep that seed in the womb as long as poss possible where it can grow and get strong so that when she gives birth, it is strong enough to live outside of the body. Now, how powerful is that? See, these, these spirits want to impregnate you. They want it to go unnoticed. They don't want you to, to know that you've been impregnated so that by the time you, you realize it, that in order to get rid of whatever they've done to you, you actually have to get a late-term abortion. And I don't mean that literally. I'm not promoting abortion. I'm talking about spiritually. You know, even though that abortion is illegal in this country, it's illegal to get an abortion after a certain stage in the pregnancy. You can't get a third trimester abortion because at that time, giving birth to that child, it, it would actually be able to live on its own. It's strong enough to live on its own. And so, and, and late term abortions are much riskier. They're much more dangerous to the mother. Uh, and so that's what these, these spirits want. So they, they want to impregnate you. They don't want you to notice it until that seed that they've planted in you has grown so big that you can give birth to something that will continue to grow on its own. Um, very powerful. So they want to multiply. The, the point of impregnation is always multiplication. It is always to reproduce after your own kind. Very powerful. Um, so what do they do to you? Uh, these spirits want to control you, subdue you, and make you feel worthless. Although they are skilled at causing extreme sexual pleasure, and Gizmo wrote about that in her letter in the last segment. She talked about the extreme pleasure she was experiencing uh, with this spirit that felt so good to her. She doesn't even want to have sex with her husband anymore. And she's actually looking for this spirit to come and give her that pleasure. Um, but although they are skilled at causing extreme sexual pleasure, they will make you feel miserable in every other way. Uh, the ecstasy that you experience with these, these spirits is usually exceedingly more intense than most natural sex and is highly addictive. Because of the pleasure your body experiences, you are induced with guilt, which lowers your resistance even more. Just as your natural body is fatigued at, after intercourse, uh, an encounter with an incubus or succubus spirit will usually leave you feeling emotionally and spiritually drained because they steal virtue from you. In place of what they steal, they impregnate you with their seeds of perversion and lust. And so what an incubi spirit, what do they want to impregnate you with? Well, negative emotions, first and foremost. They want to make you feel bad, uh, guilty, condemned, worthless, bad, negative, any kind of negative feeling. And then they want to steal virtue from you. These spirits want to steal the goodness from you, the positive energy, the joy, the positive outlook on life. They want to take that from you and impregnate their principles, their thoughts, their ways instead. So that is the purpose of Incubi Spirit. That is why they come. Uh, on the next segment, I'm going to talk about why they cause nightmares. What is the, what is the purpose of that? Why? What are they attempting to impregnate you with through causing nightmares? So that is my timer. Time is up for this segment. Thanks again for joining me, Dr. Intimacy, on the Insights from Dr. Intimacy YouTube webcast. I'm going to continue with this series, so make sure you check back for the next upload and uh, check out my book. You can get a lot of information about it uh, in the book and on the blog. Thanks again for joining me.